Hamburger, and she's been involved in sports since a very young age. She was the CEO and founder of Excellence Training Camps and is the president of J. Lynn Consulting. She's held numerous coaching positions and was the mental game coach for the NPF women's professional softball team as well as other top travel softball teams in the eastern U.S. She also works with many community groups helping girls with leadership and confidence. Can't wait to talk to you about this. And Jen was a professor at the Your Sinus College. Most of her last 10 years has been spent working with athletes, instilling confidence, building strength, both mentally and physically. She wrote a workbook for coaches called Instilling Confidence in Baseball and Softball Players to help coaches boost their players' confidence. So welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So why did you feel like that was a topic coaches needed to needed help with? Confidence comes from two different places, um, past performance and preparation. And we have found in the research that we did, the, the most effective thing that you can do is help set a player up to draw confidence from those two places. Um, one of the reasons being that they're in control of that. Uh, they're in control of their preparation. They're in control of knowing, uh, you know, what past performance looks like and when they played well, what it felt like, uh, how they can visualize. Every player is different, so they might visualize literally from a visual standpoint. They might be able to see what that looked like. Some might feel what it felt like. Uh, some might even be auditory in the fact that they, you know, might hear what it sounds like when they get a good hit. So we take players through the ability to focus on past performance, focus on their preparation, understanding that they've done this a thousand times, they can do it now. We walk through um, ways to curb doubt. Doubt is a real issue for players. As they walk up to the plate, um, you know, the thoughts that, that are going through their mind at that point can easily take or distract from their confidence. So we walk through a way to, um, you know, be able to, to work through that doubt very quickly to be able to recognize it, be aware of it, uh, that's the first step. Obviously they can't change anything they're not aware of. So they recognize it and then a quick way to be able to take a deep breath and regroup once they recognize it, not to beat themselves up over the fact that they're doubting because they're going to, they're human. But to, to be able to regroup and then refocus by giving themselves a word or phrase or something that they can say to themselves a mantra, so to speak, that they can repeat over and over in that moment. The mind can't do two things at once, right? So we can't be focused on the negative if we're telling ourselves something positive. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.